So recently I demoed the DV77 from Eminence and immediately after posting it, I was inundated with comments of people asking me to compare it to different speakers, specifically the Hesu Demon, uh, a Celestian V30 and a warehouse speaker. Specifically, a lot of people wanted to see the Reaper. And now I have those here. Uh, warehouse were cool enough to send me one of their high powered Reaper speakers, which is the Reaper, but like more. I managed to find a uh, Hesu Demon. I had to pick it up in uh, Thoman out of, out of Europe and that got here. Uh, I was loaned a Mesa V30 and of course I have the DV77. So we're gonna hear this inside of a mix and outside of a mix. I have them mic'd all in the same exact spot. I took a lot of care to mic them the same distance and the same location. I marked everything with tape. Uh, I mic'd uh, between the cone and the dome with a Shure SM57, and then just to pick up the low end, I have a Golden Age Project R2 Mark II. Let's check it out.
So what I really like with comparing these speakers, speakers are easily half, if not more, of your guitar sound. I mean, it makes sense, right? They shape all the incoming sound from your amplifier, guitars, pickups, effects, everything. They have the final say in shaping what that sounds like. And so it is a hugely impactful part of your sound, and it's great for these comparisons because you can really, really hear the differences. The DV77 specifically I really like and I've grown to love a lot. It has that uh, top end cut without being like harsh or fizzy. I think it's because they shifted the mid range back a bit from where it would be say on something like a V30. It's a little darker because of that, but it's also much fuller. It's not quite as mid focused. You have more going on on the low end while still remaining tight and you have more going on the top end without it being fizzy and that creates this wide feeling and it also sits really well in a mix because of that. Uh, the Reaper also kind of does this. It has a lot on the top and it might be the brightest speaker here. It also might be the tightest that we demoed and it's just very, very wide sounding. The Hesu and the V30 specifically, they sound a lot smaller. They sound where, where the DV77 sounds wide then it switches to one of the, the Hesu, the, the V30 and all of a sudden it shrinks. The stereo image of the guitar is very focused in the center of the frequency spectrum. So the Hesu Demon is kind of, if I can explain it the best way, is kind of like a Vintage 30, but a modern take on a Vintage 30, right? They occupy similar frequency spaces as you could hear in and out of the mix. Um, it's a lot more cutting, but because of that, it has the, the ability to get a lot more harsh if you're not careful. It's tighter while still remaining full. There's a lot of top in there, but it's, I would say out of all of these, the Vintage 30 and the Hesu are the most similar, although it saturates more than the Vintage 30. The Warehouse Reaper really surprised me. That one was probably doing its own thing the most. That one probably sounded the, diff the most different out of all of them. Uh, like I said, really wide, a lot of bright top end, not a ton of cut, but it sits well in a mix. So yeah, I've, I think this has been a pretty good comparison. What were your favorite speakers? Did you like one better in the mix, out of the mix? Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.